I used to own a playground in California and you might know me from making content online regarding my indoor playground. I talk about the struggles, I talk about the ins and outs, I talk about my daily life. If you're watching this video, we already have closed our doors. This is my official video of why we closed and maybe just answering some frequently asked questions from my comment section. Oh, there sometimes is a time and a place for when people wanna share information with you. I wasn't ready at the time to share that information with you. So I was waiting for the right moment. Sometimes you just have to give people a little bit of grace to be able to be ready to share that information with you. So now I am ready to share. There was more than one reason why I decided to close my indoor playground. There wasn't one big gigantic reason, even though I felt like people thought it was. So let me just share to you guys the reasons of why I decided uh, to close our doors, okay? The first one was that I hinted in other videos that I actually bought property out of state. I actually bought two properties out of state during my last year and I wanted to kind of just open myself up to travel or to move out of state if I wanted and I couldn't really do that with a brick and mortar that I was managing constantly. For me to be able to explore other avenues of my life, I really needed to close this chapter uh, be able to move on to another chapter. A lot of the times you would notice, I would tell you guys the answer of why we were closing was my lease was ending. That was actually very true. My lease was ending. I was here five years. I just felt like because my lease was ending, it was just kind of like a clean slate for me to get out with any financial burden put on me. As you guys may or may not know, I did have a very volatile relationship with my landlord. He was very cutthroat, very strict. If I were a landlord, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't be exactly like him. I probably would. Business is business. I totally understand that. I just think that as a tenant, I didn't want to continue on having a toxic relationship. Somebody that I felt like didn't give me any grace um, at all for anything that I needed help on. Even with extending my lease for like two weeks, um, he was adamant that he would not want to extend it for just two weeks. It was during the holiday season and I just really just didn't understand like who is going to move into the space during the holiday? Why can't you work with me so that way I could extend this for two weeks? It almost felt like a lot of the times they were trying to strong arm me into renewing my lease um, and I just didn't like the tactics that they used a lot of the time and I really wanted to, you know, not continue that relationship with them. With that being said, my landlord wanted me to renew for three to five years um, and I didn't know if I wanted to dedicate 10 years of my life to this space. And five years was a long period of time and I feel like 10 years is a long period of time. You guys know that my kids were really small during the time we started this. Now they have grown up. Um, they don't enjoy the space as much. And now they're old enough where we can actually travel and do those things. So, you know, I just felt like at the end of the day, it was the right time for us. We as a family were just ready to move on. The final reason really was just because 2020 gave me a lot of trauma. I didn't know where the economy was going, where politically things were going. And I really didn't want to put myself in the position to have that happen again. Small businesses really got the crap into the stick in 2020. Us especially because we were considered high risk uh, and the government helped, but like it was not enough. I was very, very blessed to claw my way out of that to survive 2020 and 2021. 2021 was also kind of a disastrous year. I'm glad, you know, we lived through that to see 2022 because in 2022, we did end up making three figures that year. And I did end up taking home 40 to 50% of that. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like I do live a very comfortable life. However, with that being said, did it make enough for me to hire an employee full time and never have to worry about the space and never have to worry about the liability of it, not have to work like 50 to 60 hours a week? No. So if you think about it in those terms, like for me, time is always more valuable than money. I know we could argue about that, but like for me personally, I would rather take back my time and use that a little bit more efficiently. I don't wanna scare anybody away from opening an indoor playground. One of the great things about owning an indoor playground is that there is potential for you to always make an exponential amount of money, right? Because there is a lot of room for you to be creative. There's a lot of avenues for you to be able to create revenue stream. It's really up to you on how much time and energy you can put into, you know, making sure all your ideas come into fruition. For me, there was a lot of opportunities that I left on the table. For instance, homeschooling pod, more camps, things like that. If I had done more of those things, I think that we had a potential to make a lot more money during the week. And that's where we should have concentrate on. So like I said, I don't wanna scare anybody away from opening their indoor playground. 
for us, if we continued on, we would have the potential to make way more money uh, in the next upcoming year. If it continued to project the way it was going in 2019, um, we did end up making three figures that year as, as well, but then 2020 hit. If 2020 didn't happen, would things change for me? Maybe. Let's talk about uh, some of the frequently asked or commented things. You're so good at this. Why not continue on with it? You can be good at anything as long as you put your time and energy into it. I promise you. For me, I learned along the way. You know, after five years, I learned what worked for me and what didn't work for me. I mean, I implemented the things that worked for me. So of course, yes, you know, you can be an expert at anything. Make sure you put your mind to it and work really hard. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Uh, but like I said, you can also be good at it too if you put your mind to it. So will I ever open another one? Now, here's the thing. I never say never, right? You just never know where life is going to take you. I always just tell people like, this is just like one part of my journey. I've done so many other things before this. Like I have crazy stories about like when I was a photographer and um, what I did prior. There has been so many jobs that has led up to this job. This is just one journey in my life and I'm gonna move on to other journeys, but who's gonna say that, you know, two journeys from now, I'm not gonna come back and be like, yeah, you know what? I'm ready to open another one again. And by that time, I promise you, I've learned so much, I would totally rethink the way I design my space and rethink the way that uh, we run our processes. And you know, that one probably would be like 10 times better. Never say never, but at this moment in time, I don't have plans to open another one. I don't ever say that like that will never happen because you just never know. You as a person changes over time. Don't think you're ever gonna be the same person that you are sitting here today. You will change tomorrow. You may, may be another person, you may be better. You may think things that you never thought that you would think like 10 years ago. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Whenever you're commenting on people's videos or you're thinking certain ways about certain people are saying you never will do something, I promise, like you just never know. You just never know where life's gonna take you. You live a very long life. Will I stop making indoor playground content? I actually have plans to make more educational content. I've always wanted my page to be more educational. I've kind of reached people that really have no interest in like owning an indoor playground and that's totally fine. They come to my page for entertainment or whatever and I love that. Um, but really I wanna start making content for other people who want to make their indoor playground successful. I'm gonna talk about my mistakes. I'm gonna talk about what I did great. I truly believe with any kind of guidance, you can make your playground successful. Continue making indoor playground content. It may change a little bit more. It may be, it may be a little bit more long form content. But guess what guys, there was a lot of content I did not share. Believe it or not, I'm actually an open book and I am a very blunt personality and sometimes I can be dry and kind of sarcastic. There were videos that I did share sometimes of my experiences here, but there were videos that I did not share my experiences here because I felt like they were too controversial or I didn't want to receive backlash or hate or I didn't want people to feel bad for them doing whatever they were doing. So there was a lot of things I did not share. So there's gonna be stories that I will share now that I can share because I'm no longer open. Um, so hopefully that keeps you kind of looking forward to the content. I appreciate you guys. I've tried to make this video several times. Hopefully this gives you a little bit more clear, concise views of my thoughts. I've met a lot of great people working here. Some of my very best friends have come from me working here. I've entertained a whole bunch of families. Generally speaking, in my day-to-day -day life of coming to Imagine Play, most people were extremely nice to me. And most people did not think of me the way that some people online think of me. And I appreciate that so much about them. I don't regret owning my indoor playground one bit. I think that it was an awesome experience. And I love sharing that experience with you guys and I continue sharing that with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for supporting me all those years. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you next time. Bye.